first game, my first game was the 23rd of October 1996. Special moment in any boy's life, but uh, really special for me. Three days after um, we beat Man United 5-0, Oldham Athletic at home, 1-0 League Cup, Peter Beardsley penalty. And it all went downhill from there. Favourite goal? There's loads, and I guess I could give some boring answers and just say she was volley against Everton, she was volley against Villa. <coughs> Excuse me. But there's one that always sticks in my head, and that's, uh, well, there's Dwight Gales against Norwich and Tiotti and all that. There's loads of honourable mentions, but there's one we've just talked about the 23rd of October. Fast forward six years to the day Andy Griffin scores against Juventus in the Champions League. And then three days after that, my dad took me to the home game against Charlton. And we went 1-0 down, Sean Bartlett and Andy Griffin scored in consecutive games with an absolute thunder bastard. And it's always stuck with me. The day itself was amazing. First game I went to by myself with my dad. We won 2-1, Robert scored the winner, but Andy Griffin's goal. It just stuck with me. So there is some favourite goals that are the, the stereotypical ones, but that's the one personal to me. Boring answer, Alan Shearer. Loved Don Obi Solano. Loved Gary Speed. Um, they were the players of the era where we started getting into football. Obviously, I could say any of the entertainers, but Gary Speed, I did love Gary Speed and I loved Don Solano, but Alan Shearer, easy. There's a few, and I've just, because I'm, cause the thing about having a dad who's just in Newcastle as I have, and I've got the, size, like, the, the old ones I can wear now. Um, but, I mean, the denim away one, I know a lot of people always like the hoop one from like the 95, 96, but the denim one from 96, 97, I'm a big fan of that one. And then, a rarely talked about kit is that seahorse, like blue, purple, with the orange and green stripe from the season after. Love that one, but favourite home one, the NTL, uh, Bobby Robson kit, easy. So Bobby Robson, I mean, I, I mean, I know it, 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 it left a bad taste in my mouth how he left, but I just um, not he left, but how he was sacked. But he just it was just happy days. I mean, Rafa gets a special mention. Obviously, Kevin Keegan's up there with Sir Bobby, but I just Sir Bobby epitomised everything I, I loved about Newcastle. So did Kevin Keegan, of course, but I just think Bobby just gets it. I had a thing about this one, um, but the, the one that really affected me was Andy Carroll. When Andy Carroll got sold in the last minute of that January transfer window, we just came up and obviously we were doing really well and he was doing really well. And the fact that the lot got rid of him and they didn't even replace him. I mean, honorable mention to Chef Kikuchi, but I was absolutely gutted, like really, really devastated. And I just thought, it's only gonna get bad from here. So yeah, it really, really did break my heart. I know he didn't get up going to do great things for Liverpool, but I would have loved for him to stay that full, that full uh, season. Ooh. I mentioned Bobby Robson getting sacked there. That was, I mean, I know there was politics and there was probably small sections of the fan base that wanted it, wanted him to go off, thought his time was up. But for me, seeing that manager who just sort of became like this, you know, this this head teacher, this respected head teacher of your, your football club, getting getting uh, getting thrown out the club, it was pretty nasty. I mean, the, the, the cup finals. I was a bit young, but I do remember them pretty clear and how, you know, Shearer hitting the post and Dabby's ass hitting the bar, and, but that was just disappointing. But yeah, Bobby getting sacked was pretty heartbreaking. Well, I mentioned Andy Griffin's goal earlier and that's a, that's a day I won't forget uh, for great reasons with my dad. And, um, you know, we ended up, we've had a season ticket for well over a decade now. But one of the stick with me is Dwight Gale, that, that when we were against Norwich under Rafa, 3-2 down with 90 seconds to go, equaliser and then Dwight Gale goes and scores his hat-trick to win the game and that got us well on track and knocked Norwich off the rails and started off a pretty decent season but I just remember thinking that there's no chance we can win this game and somehow the surprise is. I think we can only go between two really isn't it? Alan St. Maximum or Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson, the sexier of the two, definitely. Uh, but I think the way Alan St. Maximum gets you off your seat, 
He can be frustrating sometimes, but he is one of the best dribblers I've seen at Newcastle United. So currently just over Callum Wilson and St Maxwell. Ha <laughs> ha!